Grapple, cooldown, reset, or knock. Take 25% less damage while riding energized zip lines. That one's just way stronger than this one. I don't know why you would ever pick zip lines then. All right, controller. Increase spike throw range by 40%. Increase max number of active spikes by one. That's decent. Increase ultimate length by 15 meters. That's not a lot. Increase ultimate lifetime by five seconds. That's pretty big. Care package. Eva 8 enters the care package. Prowler returns to the floor. Why no bow, dude? Why did they not put the bow on the floor? I don't understand, dude. Oh, wait. Wingman is not going on the floor. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. No, dude. I'm so happy. Oh my god, dude. I'm so happy, dude. I was already pre-molding. I was already pre-molding at all the controller players just playing wingman every fucking game, dude. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Now you're rushed by triple wingman controller players, dude. Wingman Kirby's insane, yeah, but there's one per game. There's one per game instead of fucking 30 wingmans per game. Okay, weapons attachments. Okay, base damage reduced to 39, what's 42? Ammo capacity, white 7 to 8, blue 8 instead of 10, purple is 10. Fuck, dude. 30 30, rip bozo. Hopefully, nobody plays that shit anymore. Damage reduced to 6. Why the fuck did they nerf the Eva? What? They put it in the care package. Recall with boost to better match the much faster fire rate. Hammer points. 20% damage increase against flesh. Shotgun bolt. Shells reload on slide increase to 2 was 1. This change only affects the care package either. Dude. Holy dude. I need to read this. And then the hemlock needs to get absolute fucking killed. Damage reduced to 20 was 21. Hit fire spread increased. Oh my god. Hit fire spread increased and reduced damage. That's okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. Hit fire spread increased. It's fine. It's still, still better than nothing. They're gonna nerf it again next season. It's gonna be 19 again next season. 18. And then boom, we're fine. They no longer equip barrel attachments. That's cool. Prowl on the floor. SMG ballistics. Projectile gravity increased across all SMGs. Projectile launch speed reduced across most SMGs. Launch speed. Oh, wait. That means it like dips hella fast. Digital threat. Can no longer be equipped on SMGs. Spawn rate reduced by 20%. Oh my god. Heavy rig legends. Gibraltar caustic pathfinder Newcastle remnant. Now use medium rig first person movement animations. Actual game speeds have not changed. The Lesser Legends will feel less sluggish. Now use medium rig first person movement. People said it's, it's for them to feel like it feels better. Or like the movement feels better. Okay. Dark Veil. Lifetime. De oh! <laughs> oh my god! 10 second less wall! Oh my god, 10 seconds? Dude! Oh my god, 10 seconds is crazy! Length, length decreased to 40 meters, what's 55? Let's see. Wait, dude, this could be crazy if Conduit gets the fucking juice too. Let me see. If they go 3 for 3, Catalyst, Conduit, Revenant, I am literally jerking off right now. Cooldown increased to 26, was 21. Temporary shield generation rate decreased to 15 HP, was 20. Temporary shield generation time increased to 9, was 8. Okay, 15 HP per second is fucking insane too. That's a good nerf. Mine duration reduced to 25. Mine HP reduced to 200. It should have been like 150 or like 100, but that's fine. The distance at which mines are removed when deployed too close to one another has been increased by 100%. So if they're too close to each other, they just get instigated. 
They nerfed him? There's no way. He hasn't got a buff in like three years. There's no way, dude. They nerf him? Where's the fucking Q cooldown has been capped at 25 seconds? They hate Pathfinder. Religiously. Chat. Okay. It doesn't say it chat. It doesn't say it's not stackable. It doesn't say it's not stackable. Wait, 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 wait. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. What if instead of hitting ring control, I take survey beacon, right? I get a 15 second cooldown every time I hit ring control or survey beacon. What if I just spam survey beacons on the map and care packages? I'll have one second cooldown on alt. I'll literally have every 20 seconds I'll have an alt. Okay. Ranked. Level requirement now 20 or 30 or 50. I don't understand that. Entry cost will start a return 20 RP per tier starting at silver. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, right? And then 125 of your prev? Or 120 of your prev? Player rankings now visible. Now we'll be able to see when we shit on people that are silver. Hulk champ. Promotional trials have been removed. Hulk champ. Provisional matches have been removed. Hulk champ. Ranked tier RP requirements will have some increases. Hulk champ requires more to gain. RP value will be, be, be used to match make. For full stack premates, the highest RP value in Skull will be used. Hulk champ. Splits are returning. Start at 1 RP at the end of a season. Split will drop rankings by 6 divisions. This just sucks, dude. No, wait. Start, start at 1 RP at the beginning of the season. Split will drop ranking by 6. So every new season, you start at 1 RP. What? No, that's fucking sick, dude. That's actually cool as fuck, dude. That is fucking good. Does that affect you guys anyways? Yes. Because instead of now, you just play for 12 hours and boom, you're fucking masters for Pred again. Now you start at the bottom. And when we're gold, everyone else is going to be gold. And then everyone will like climb against each other in gold and then climb against each other in, in plat and then climb against each other in diamond and then climb against each other in masters. Instead of now, it's just everyone's fucking plat. And then you start plat and then boom, you're just fucking Pred after one day. No, this is cool as fuck. This is good. I don't give a fuck, dude. This is actually really good. Yeah, just if you get top 5 every game, you get more RP for every single game you do it in a row. So people have an incentive to get top 5 every game to gain more RP, you know? No, good players will not be rank, uh, masters after one day. Because you need to realize, if as so the first people that are in silver will not be able to play. Because they will have to wait like 20-30 minutes for other people to get in silver. Or like put, it, put them against like bronze ones, right? And then the same will happen when they hit gold as soon as they hit gold guys 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 read 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 start at one rp at the beginning of the season split will drop rankings i know at the split you will be plat but at at the start of season 21 you will be back to rp number uno again we'll see hopefully the zone uh you know they're spending too much time outside of ring will be warned then eliminated Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yo. Oh my god, no way. There's no people are crying to have to actually play the game now. No way, dude. Oh no, I can't get no. I can't get masters now. I have to play now. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh my god. Wah 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 wah. Wah in the Scott. Yeah. Good. Hey, have fun. Have fun staying in fucking silver, pussy. Have fun staying in fucking silver. Hey, I can't wait to see the, the 3x Pred banners in silver one, hardstock. Oh my god.